So today we're going to talk about the setup of a double Drescher bottle for the scrubbing of toxic gases from reactions. So what we've got set up here at the moment is a heated round bottom flask with multi neck, a stoppered condenser on the top and connected directly to the flow of nitrogen rather than through a bubbler. This then comes out from the exit of the reaction mixture through a sacrificial blank Drescher bottle which is to capture any suck back from the quenching chamber. And then over here in this example this would be bleach and that depends on what gas or substance you're trying to scrub from your reaction. And then you've got an exit effluent gas port on the side of the Drescher bottle. If you wish, depending on what it is you're trying to capture, you can use pH strips. You can use them wetted at the side of the chamber, so for HCl or ammonia, you can use that to monitor whether or not this is efficiently quenching your gas. So the way we have these set up is that there's a downpipe that should go directly into the solution of your quenching chamber. And that means that the nitrogen flow will come directly uh, down into the bottom of the quenching chamber. So the bubbles come out and then they get quenched on the wheel. On the sacrificial chamber, the orientation of the head should be in the opposite direction. What this does is that it means that any liquid that comes back through into this chamber must fill the bottle right the way up to the top uh, before it can go back through the tube and, and have a possibility of going back into the reaction. So now let's take a look at the inlet and outlet pipes. If it was set up in the other direction, it would be much easier for liquids to be sucked back into the reaction. So to start the nitrogen flow, you can use the house nitrogen supply. And this is too fast a nitrogen flow, so we actually need to slow the nitrogen flow down just using the tap. So now you can see there's just a couple of bubbles. In fact, even slower than this would be better. And then if you go too slow, you can start to see the suck back into the tube. You just need to make sure that you've got enough nitrogen so that there are some bubbles, but not too fast. So I'm going to show you uh, what would happen in the event of an electricity failure where the hot plate would stop working and the nitrogen generator would stop working. So that would be a double failure of the reaction. So we've coloured the quenching solution so it's easier to see when it gets sucked back through the tubing. And we're heating our reaction at the moment so I'm just going to simulate uh, what would happen. So all I'm going to do is um, I'm going to remove the reaction flask from the heat and this would start to cool um, and then I'm also going to start to turn off the nitrogen flow completely. So we start to look over at the quenching chamber and you can see, start to see the quenching solution is already starting to be sucked back uh, up the downpipe. So here I'm going to show you an example where the middle dreschel head of your sacrificial chamber has been set up incorrectly. So in this example, the downpipe in the quenching chamber goes right to the bottom of the solution. This is set up correctly. And then this one, uh, it's, <clears throat> if there's any suck back from the tube, uh, from the quenching chamber, when it reaches the bottom of the downpipe, there's a possibility that this could go directly through the tube and, uh, and directly into the reaction mixture. And if you have uh, an incompatible reaction mixture and quenching solution, you can have exothermic reactions or gas evolution and things like that. And this is obviously something that we want to avoid. So if you just watch the bleach chamber, we should start to see some suck back and that pretty quickly starts to fill up the internal tubing. And then once that enters the blank chamber, that starts to fill up the downpipe quite quickly. Uh, 
and as time goes on that goes back through the internal tubing and into your reaction mixture. So here I'm going to show you another example of a reaction fail where uh, the heating may fail uh, or the nitrogen flow may fail or both and in this case we do not have a sacrificial chamber. So here we have coloured bleach solution and the tubing from that chamber goes directly into the reaction mixture. So here I'm going to simulate the electricity being turned off. And straight away you can see uh, the quenching solution being pulled directly into the tubing. And then because there's no sacrificial chamber in the way uh, as a safety margin, this solution goes directly into the reaction mixture.